Hey guys, so I just did something really dumb. I just bought an AJA Scion for $600. So I started my filmmaking journey about 10 years ago. Around 2014, 2015, I was looking at what camera to purchase and I saw announcements from NAB. Blackmagic had just announced their new camera, the Ursa, and I also saw the Scion from AJA announced in 2014 as well and i was really excited uh because it looked really cool and that's about all that i understood about cameras at the time um so i was super curious about it but it was priced way outside of what i could end up affording as a 20 year old kid trying to figure out how to get into the film world so i ended up forgetting all about it until Last year, uh, I saw a video re-exploring what the story of the Scion was and why it was eventually discontinued. I'll link that video down in the description below. But I was curious about the camera, and so I was looking around online to see like, hey, what's available out there? Is this even a camera people are still using? Is it, is it available anywhere? Could you buy it? And I recently stumbled across a listing on eBay from Adorama for an AJA Scion that they were selling for parts. Now I know what you're thinking, for parts, why would you buy it? In the listing, all it listed was that the malfunctions are in the audio side of things. And one of the audio channels was burnt out and not working, and then it was missing the volume knob for that channel. So I was thinking, that's not a big deal. They also wrote in there, there could be other massive malfunctions. But I decided, you know, hey, what are the chances that they uh, just didn't want to deal with a camera no one wants to buy and so they found the issues wrong with it and they just stopped testing and then didn't worry about it and figured they couldn't sell a camera for anything more than just for parts if no one really wanted to buy it anyway. So they were selling it for 700 I offered them 500 they countered, and we ended up splitting the difference at 600 so I have that coming on the way. Now this doesn't make any sense professionally. As a professional videographer, I have no need for an AJA Scion. I am perfectly happy with my two Lumix S5s uh, that are working great for me. They look fantastic and I don't need a production camera at this point. But I've always had that nostalgia and I've always had that curiosity about what would it be like to have that camera. And, uh, and that was not connected to having seen any footage from it. Now after having seen the footage and knowing what all goes into running this camera, I have some problems to solve. And so hopefully you'll come on this journey with me as I solve the problems and I go on a journey to make the Scion great again. Now the first issue is lenses. Now this camera comes with PL mount on it and I will either have to find a PL mount lens or get a replacement mount. They make EF mounts for it if you can find them. So I will probably be looking for an EF mount to replace the PL mount with on this. Second is a recording media. It records to AJA pack drives and I'm sure they're great, but I don't own any of them and I don't own a reader for them either. So I will be navigating how to record footage out of it without any of those drives. So lastly is the image. Now, what I've seen online is that the biggest problem with the image is that the sensor doesn't have a ton of dynamic range and that the gamma profiles are a large factor in that lack of dynamic range. They list 12 stops of dynamic range as, uh, as their normal spec, but if you use any of the gamma profiles, you're gonna get that down to closer to eight. So we're gonna fix that. Uh, they, what they say online is that if you film in linear and then in post do a color space transformation from linear to RE log C, then you can grade in a proper log format and then get all of that dynamic range back. So we'll see if that works. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna get this camera in, we're gonna check it out, see what kind of shape it's in, and uh, give you guys the first impressions. Before I buy anything for this camera, I wanna get it in and just make sure it works. There's a naive part of me that wants to believe that this camera had potential and it could have been great. I'm hopeful that with what we can do today in filmmaking, that we can make this camera great and that we can overcome the hurdles that it had and maybe 
just maybe, if we can get this camera working, we could convince AJA to get working on a Scion 2. I'm just kidding. I don't think that'll happen, but who knows? So here's the plan with this series. I'm gonna show you the camera. I'm gonna do the unboxing with it, and we're gonna explore what kind of shape this camera is in, if it is in good working order. And then from there, I'm gonna take you on my process as I step-by-step step fix some of the limitations and drawbacks of this camera and show you real footage from it so that we can decide, was this camera really horrible or was it just misunderstood? So that's my goal. I just wanna see if we can find workarounds that can make this camera great. So we'll see. I don't need it. This was a really stupid idea, but uh, let's do this thing.